what if you had the ability to instantly focus, like turning on a light switch, like you could just do it. You could say, hey, I want to get this done, I'm just gonna do it. And you just do it and it's done and everything is good and then you can move on to the next thing. That's called a superpower. It's one of the superpowers in my book, real superpowers that will change your life. And I call them superpowers because in life, there's only one thing that you can do that's going to help you, and that's take action. Think about it, everything you do is an action. It's all about action, action, action. Everything in life is an action. The problem with action is that you actually have to do it. It takes a lot of mental energy, sometimes physical energy. You have to basically recalibrate your brain and get yourself to do something and do it well and have fun while doing it. So it's, it's a lot, it's very, very difficult. So there's a superpower in my book, which is called Real Superpowers That Will Change Your Life. And I call it the shifting power. So I'm just briefly going to explain it so that you can try to use it, maybe after you watch this video. So the first step you know, in the shifting power is to be self-aware. You have to be aware of your thoughts. And, and by the way, the point of the shifting power is whenever you're having thoughts that are unproductive, this allows you to eliminate them and it puts you in a place of clarity so that then you can begin to have positive thoughts and take action, right? So let's say that, for example, you're in a math class and let's say that you have a test on Monday and today's Friday and you don't wanna study because it's a lot of work or whatever. That creates stress because you're in a place of inaction, right? Constantly thinking about the fact you have to study and not doing it, that creates stress, right? That inaction leads to stress. So to eliminate that stress, you have to take action. The problem is you're stuck in this mental state where you don't want to do it. Like, oh, this sucks. I don't want to study. I'm tired, whatever. You know, we, we make excuses. We're intelligent human beings. We rationalize all of our thoughts even if they're not good or they're not constructive. Keep that in mind. Okay, very, very important. So sometimes your thoughts are no good. So the shifting power, what that does is, is it allows you to push negative thoughts out of your mind so you have clarity. You literally push the thoughts out of your mind. So again, for example, you're sitting there, you're thinking about this test you have to study for, right? Be self-aware realize that these thoughts of anxiety, these thoughts of, I don't wanna do this, they're useless, right? They don't belong in your mind. Push them out. It's fear and doubt. Or as they say in uh, trading FUD, fear, uncertainty, doubt. I guess the uncertainty part is not accurate here, but it's fear and doubt. Push it out, right? Push it out and be present. And that is what I like to call the shifting power. But you have to be self-aware, self-aware enough to realize you're having those thoughts and, and then just push them out. So how do you push them out? Well, there's actually specific strategies in the book, specific things that I threw in the book that could help you. Um, let me just find it here, there's a couple here. So the one thought rule, this is one of the things you can do. When your mind is cluttered, pick one productive thought to focus on, write it down, say it out loud or visualize it in your mind. Then immediately take a small step toward acting on it. That, that, that one's pretty good. The five second reset. If you catch yourself spiraling into negative distracting thoughts, count backwards from five and imagine clearing your mind as you reach zero. Then take one immediate action, no matter how small, open a book, write one sentence or make a phone call. That works pretty good. I think, the ten, there's a couple more, but I'm gonna to skip to the 10 minute rule because this one's really powerful. Commit to taking action for just 10 minutes. And I, I say 10 minutes because uh, I think, especially for hard things, five minutes is not enough. And if you're having a hard time, like maybe you're going through something, right? Maybe you're in college and you have a job and you're in a bad relationship and you just your friends are making you mad and your family's terrible. Maybe everything is terrible in your life and you just can't clear your head. The 10 minute rule is one that is very powerful. You commit to taking action for just 10 minutes, okay? Whether it's studying, writing, or cleaning, set a timer and start. 
most of the time, you'll find that once you start, you'll keep going. And that's another superpower, which I call momentum mastery, um, which is basically the idea where once you get started and, and, and you get going, you can continue that momentum. But again, it's all about you know, being self-aware. And this book can help you become that way, and it can give you those superpowers that can help you accomplish anything in life, right? Very powerful stuff. Anyways, I just wanted to make this video and talk about it because I think this is something that can help you. And it's a good one if you're really distraught. Like, if you really just can't focus, the shifting power is probably one that can help you. You'll find that after you read this book, okay, and you go through all the superpowers, you'll find that you use some of them more than others. And I feel like the shifting power is one where if you're having a really, really bad day, uh, it can really just kind of clear you out and just get to work, right? Remember, action, action, action. It's all about taking action. Everything in life, right? Everything. Action, action, action. Anyways, I'll leave a link in the description of this video to my book, Real Superpowers That Will Change Your Life, and they will. I know they will. Good luck to you.